Hello, my tribe. Thank you for joining me. Whoops, there I go. Close unused applications dismiss right now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's nothing like technology interfering with uh, go live. Hope this is working. <laughs> Welcome. So this is June 25th and um, June 25th and 26th were supposed to be days where the energy was moving more into 5D and um, hold on, they're giving me information that I need to take a look at for whatever. Let's see. I'm not sure what's happening here. Okay, we're going to go back. I have no idea what they're wanting. Um, okay. <laughs> Getting some blips on the screen that I don't know what to do with. I need somebody to um, be my, my techno friend here. Um, okay. Uh, all right. So I'm in my backyard. Uh, it's been a gorgeous, warm, warm day here in Seattle, finally. And, oh my gosh, we've got these beautiful clouds up in the sky that look like a bunch of angels up there. Maybe that's a good sign. All right, so today I want to talk to you about this new beginning in 5D. Um, I've had calls, just so that you know, from people that I'm connected with, that uh, we've been working with for the last couple of years. And so there are people who are finding that their days are becoming easier as of yesterday and today, which is great. Um, one family let me know that they and their children are getting along beautifully. The children are enormously happy. They feel more grounded. Um, while they also have moments of feeling ungrounded because the energy shift is, is very strange. Um, a couple of other people have said that they feel like they're in a tunnel. Um, and I got one person who said that the whole right side of them is in a, in a swirl. It's throwing them a little bit of off balance. I'd love to know what any of you might be experiencing out there. I'd love to hear back from you, either as a note at the bottom of my live later on, or, um, by the way, I don't see people's messages and I'm not so sure why. I'm going to have to ask how to set that up so that I can see it. Um, but I know for myself, uh, this morning when I woke up, I felt very much like I was in a tum an energy that was tumbling and moving around me, and I felt a little like, wasn't sure if I was here or if I was there. Overall, I've been okay today. I've done some meditation. I've worked on one client, uh, and so everything has been good. Um, and I've got oh, one person called up and said that they've been having horrible trouble with their eyes and that's start, starting to um, work itself out. So in these new energies, we have an opportunity for new creation. So I want to talk to all of you about learning how to live in your heart, uh, taking time out for that. And I thought we could begin today by doing just a very short meditation to help you move into your center. Um, that is the best way to find out where you're at, where you are, how you are feeling physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, is to tune in and really pay attention to yourself and also learn to honor what is going on in your body, in your mind, in your heart. Because these times that are changing, as we've talked about in the last couple of days, there will be moments of tremendous euphoria because it feels really sweet and wonderful and supportive. And at other times when all this old energy that we've been carrying in these bodies that have are, you know, passed on from generation to generation, many of us have had to deal with some, uh, some pretty tough stuff emotionally as well as physical pain in releasing old traumas that are known and unknown. Many people are going through this not having a clue what's happening to them and my heart goes out to them because they don't have they don't have the knowing to ask what is going on lots of people that i know have gotten calls from people like my friend is going to the hospital they think they've got something going on with blah 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 and actually what it is is it's this either their past life memories that are leaving 
or um, energies that no longer belong to them in this new frequency that need to be released that are literally causing some medical type events that don't actually come out as medical events but they look at it like it at it on the surface and I've had that experience myself but because I know what's going on I learned to breathe and meditate my way through so that is one way to do it um, so but right now let's take a moment and let's quiet ourselves um, I'd like to just take you through just maybe two minutes of inviting you all to allow the angelic presence that is around you most people are born with angels very few people are not um, and so they're here to love and support you some people are born with 20 some with 200 some with a thousand it all depends on our personal history what we've done um, maybe also what we've chosen to come and live and how we're going to serve in this body and then as you go through the process of awakening and, and tuning into more of the love that you are and actually behave in ways that are loving in selfless service and in consciousness, holding higher thoughts of yourself, higher thoughts of other people and being generous with your spirit, uh, generous with um, your money or material things if you're able to or your time. All of that goes to building this momentum of living in greater love and greater light and allowing your heart to grow it allowing you to move into your heart and living from that place learning how to say yes from your heart space versus your head space um, our heads are oftentimes connected to our egos and what we think should be or shouldn't be versus moving into that place inside of us either in our heart or in our gut that knows what's right for us so let's do what we did um the other day and and begin and i'm going to take my glasses off for this i don't know why i don't meditate as well as my glasses on um but anyway um so we're going to start again uh, this time they want to start with instead of royal blue we're going to start with the color yellow so yellow is the third chakra color which has to do with judgment or acceptance and at this particular time and juncture of the shift from 3D to 5D, it's really important to release our judgments of ourselves, of what's going on around us in the world, of others. Um, and any enmity that we're holding, working on being willing to let that go. So all of that energy of judgment or curses or condemnations on ourselves, on God, on others, is sitting in that third chakra energy of um of your you know the solar plexus area so your digestive system can be involved in that your liver can be involved that your gallbladder your stomach pancreas all of that small intestine large intestine are impacted by what is going on with how we think uh, and how how we think and what we hold whether it's love or enmity and unhappiness or judgment or wanting to get even, whatever it is that we do as human beings with our minds, that negative stuff sits there. So by breathing in yellow, we're going to start by breathing in lemon yellow. And lemon yellow is what helps to neutralize whatever the energy is that you're, you're not happy with. So I'm going to suggest that you pick one thing that is bothering you right now, uh, something that you'd like to wash and release out of your system. So let's call on your angels, your guides, and the divine, whether you call it source or creator or God, or by a religious name that you might be connected to. Just bring honor to wherever you are with that experience of your spirituality whether it's steeped in religion or whether it's steeped in a in a um, more eclectic uh, spiritual way um, give permission for that lemon yellow light to come around you about 2,000 feet I know that's a lot but our our personal grid is pretty huge actually we're much bigger than what we think we are 
So let's do that. Let's focus, first of all, bring your attention to above your third eye, about right there. And call in this energy of lemon yellow light. Let it start moving into your physical body. Bring it down into your throat where you tend to, either with your thought or with your words, judge yourself or others or situations. And breathing that in and allow a gentle, that gentleness to wash whatever judgment that you're holding and running it down your heart and into your solar plexus. And focus on an issue that is giving you trouble, something that you would love to be able to let go of. So let's breathe that color in and begin with the thought that I am a vehicle of love. And just breathe that in. I am a vehicle of love. I acknowledge the love that I am to the level that I'm capable of. I choose at this time to release whatever dark thoughts or enmity or revenge or sadness, judgment that I have toward myself or someone else or a situation. Give permission for the angelic realm of love, call in more angels to love and support you sending it to the situation and or others. Allowing that yellow light to embrace you and the situation that you're in. Giving permission inside of you to the divine or God in you to release and forgive what is bothering you because it no longer serves you. Release and forgive that part of yourself that's holding on to what doesn't serve you. Judgment of self or others. Release and forgive other people Letting that go. Giving permission to the divine in you to do the forgiving and releasing with you and for you in all the places that you may have some resistance, either you're unwilling to or unable because of whatever level of pain and suffering is connected to the situation. And just let this yellow light just cascade like a waterfall down you and through you and releasing it out your fingertips, out the palms of your hands, down your legs, out your feet, letting go. Taking some deep breaths in, blessing the situation, forgiving yourself for judging, perhaps forgiving others for hurting you, knowing that when you go to the divine in yourself or someone else, the forgiveness is instant and complete. All you need to do is move to the alignment of that possibility and choose. Good job. Now whirling that lemon yellow light and allowing this energy to be moved off of you and exchanging that lemon yellow light for golden buttery light. That golden buttery light of the solar plexus brings balance and harmony and acceptance of what was, letting it go. 
allowing your system to move toward more neutral acceptance toward your own peace in your body, which affects your emotions, which affects your mind, which affects your spiritual journey. And maybe you can even let yourself smile when you're doing this. Because as you release whatever pain, anger, suffering, judgment that you have, and you wash it and you allow it to be neutralized with love, freeing it from you and you from it, there's just then that much more peace on this planet from the inside of you. Because remember, our energy moves into the collective. So as you think, you have an impact on the collective. If you're raging and upset, that's what's going into the collective and you're adding to the potpourri of grand mess out there. We don't want to do that. We want to have the potpourri of grand love moving out there, more and more of that. Allow yourself to be part of the stream of love by letting go and just going, I choose love. I am love, I choose love. Some days that's hard to do, and it's okay to own where you are and move from there. Okay, now that all of you have done that, let's just bring in a bucket of white light, shimmering white light, and just run it around you and do like a big cyclone of wash. Pull this energy off of you and clear it. Set it up into the light to be released and healed. Good, 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 good. And my guys are saying that many of you are needing the color pink. And that's not a color most people think of when they're doing healing work and chakra work. But pink is the, a color that's connected to the heart. And it's about nurturing. It's about gentleness. It's about softening our experience, softening our connection with ourselves, softening our connection with life and with other people. So let's bless ourselves by giving permission to the divine to fill our field as big as it needs to be. Could be only a thousand feet, could be 7,000 feet, that you may need this pink light to nurture, love, support, and create more gentleness in your own physical being as well as your energy body. So again, you can repeat, I am love. I am lovable. I am in 5D co-creating a more loving universe to live in. We are in the place of a blank slate. Let's use this blank slate to create with love with wisdom, with what flows. It's a place where we can allow our ideas and other ideas from others that might be divergent from ours to be accepted and loved because that's where people are. Arguing does not help. It's like seeing a perspective from somebody else's place, letting it be so allowing this gentleness to come around you and they're suggesting that you let it create like two little cyclones of energy on the left side of you and the right side of you, pulling it around you and allowing it to love you, support you, bring you the gentleness that you need. And that gentleness generally gives you more room to breathe, to expand, to be. Good. So what I'm hearing is most people that are listening to this and are going to listen will be bringing in three to 5,000 feet of this pink light. And you don't need me to help you do this. You can do this at any time. <clears throat> All right. Now the next color that they're telling me we need to bring in is orange, second chakra color. Orange has to do with your sexual creative chakra and it also has to do with joy. So 
we're beginning to live a life in 5D on a brand new slate. Why not bring in the energy of joy? Joy is so important to make life more fun, to appreciate with a greater lightness whatever it is that we're experiencing, even when things are a little tough. We bring a little joy to it knowing that it's part of a lesson, part of our growth, and have less judgment around it, we can experience more joy. <clears throat> Allowing that color joy to be around you 4,000 feet, 4,000 feet around you. Give your angels permission to build that around you. It just takes about 15, 20 seconds. Giving permission for that color to run through your body and many of you are con disconnected from joy. We're disconnected from life. We're not grounded. We're living in our heads. We're using our computers, our phones, watching TV. We're not connected to our body. In order to experience joy, you got to be connected to your body. So let's start. Connect to that second chakra. Allow yourself to have more joy. Good. Now give permission for that second chakra energy, that orange, and give permission for multiple shades from light to dark to come into you. Where whatever you need to balance that second chakra or to fill it. Let's also give permission for that second chakra to connect to your first chakra and all the way up to level 17. So in the, in the grid that I work with, we have 18 levels of soul connected to the human body. The 18th level we never mess with. It's our oversoul. It holds our, you know, our program of what we've decided to do when we come here. All the other levels uh, can be, we work to heal, clear, and call upon to help us here in the lower body. So let's give permission for that to all be connected so that when you're living in 5D, that when you've got joy activated in your system, you can allow that joy into your heart chakra and your heart can be more joy filled, more spontaneous. So some of us are not there yet and that's okay. Just know that you are evolving into this greater light, into this greater expression. Give yourself some space to do that. I'm gonna sip of water here, hold on a minute. Okay, and I just want to do one more color, and that's because these 5D shift days that started about a little over a week ago, and will continue through what day? Hold on a minute, they're telling me. Through July 2nd, so this kind of upheaval moving from 3D into 5D. The biggest days are the 25th and the 26th when we actually move on that path. And then the rest of the days are integrating into this higher energy and that different, on the different train track, so to speak. Um, we're, we're connecting up with that. Okay. So they're showing me this beautiful raspberry red. Just can imagine a whole basket full of raspberries. And allowing that color into your field. We want it 1,500 feet around you. So I bet you can guess it's connected to the first chakra, right? Because it's a red. But it's a softer red, right? It's a pinky red. So it's to soften our experience with our first chakra. Our first chakra has to do with being grounded. Also has to do with our sense of safety in survival. So sometimes life has been harsh or we have harsh periods in our lives where things are a little tough. So breathing in raspberry red will help you soften that experience, allow that first chakra to open up to feeling more safe, to feeling that love that is around you, that is you, that is in you, that you can choose to work with and allow it to flow through you. Good. So what they want to do right now is I want, they want you to, um, I hope you can see this. 
This is where your thymus gland is, just above your heart, from here to here. So they want to connect your thymus gland to your heart chakra and your first chakra, okay? Your, the wellness of your body has to do with this beautiful connection to being feeling safe in your physical body. And many of us have had really traumatic experiences in our physical body. And some people need a little help moving through that, moving through that trauma, neutralizing it. There are many beautiful healers and teachers out there who can help you with that. And I also would recommend doing whole Oponopono. I'll put that in um, on my Facebook page as well as on my YouTube channel. Um, when we post this video uh, where you can connect up with some people who do Ho'oponopono or EFT, the tapping technique, which um, you can tap your own meridians down to get calm, announcing what you're upset over and learning how to release it. There are many beautiful people out there. I'll give you some links so that you can connect up with that. So you don't have to feel stuck. And then, of course, there's therapists out there who can help. I'm willing to help, and I have lots of people in, in my group who are willing to help people as well. So again, connecting these two spots, your heart and your thymus, along with that root chakra, down in your perineum in the area of your crotch. That's your root chakra. Connecting it together. Allowing your root chakra to feel the love of your heart. Allow the love in your heart to support your thymus gland for healing. And connecting. And now we're just going to bring in the heart chakra color, which of course we know ultimately is emerald green. Some people have weaknesses in their heart chakra. They don't have like the entire spectrum of the color. So let's just give permission for your, your guides and your angels and your higher self to bring in whatever colors that you might need from like a light celery green through a spring green, through a deeper green into your emerald green to fill out that heart chakra. And in fifth dimensional frequency, the heart chakra is actually a lime green. God, for years I hated that color, but now I'm beginning to like it um, because it's part of, it's, it's in my field. I see it all the time. I'm like, okay, you're here to stay. <laughs> and, and it is a higher frequency. So we're just going to go with that. All right. So here we go. Good. Allowing yourself now to feel the palms of your hands and your fingertips, connecting that your energy, letting it flow. Allowing the lemon yellow, the golden yellow, the many shades of orange, the raspberry red, heart chakra green to come into your field, moving through your body, through all your meridians, through your hands, out your fingertips into the world. Good. Now let's run it down your legs. Connecting all those chakras down your legs. Below your knees, going through the tibia, fibia, and lower leg into your ankle, into your foot, allowing your foot to run these colors into the ground, through your toes. Allow yourself to be connected to you and all of life. Good. Now I want you to check in with yourself. Do you feel any different? from before we started. If you feel different in a, in a way that feels more relaxing, more releasing, then you might want to consider doing some chakra work and energy healing. Um, on YouTube, there's some beautiful chakra cleansing things or activations or just breathing exercises with it. Or you can also do it yourself. Um, Every person may have different issues, so we have different nuances of colors that a person might actually need. 
sometimes you have to have somebody who can really see with that but as we're moving into 5d more and more people will have that of their own knowing as well as they'll be able to support their neighbors or brothers and sisters in life um, with oh look you've got that color missing or you need a little bit of more of this somebody will be helpful with you to do that okay so that's how we start getting connected and get touching base with yourself knowing how it is that you are feeling acknowledging where you are if it's feeling icky acknowledge I'm feeling icky today what can I do to first address love what's there what's its purpose what's the message and then bring healing to it running colors running sound and again um, I think I mentioned it yesterday going to YouTube and um, checking on the solfeggio frequencies that's s as in Sam O L F as in Frank E G G I O solfeggio frequencies they go from 100 to the 900 series each one has specific purpose and so you can just check in and see what the purposes are and see how that aligns with you and then listen when you're listening to the music and allowing it to move through to heal you or balance you um, if it feels good keep doing it if it doesn't feel good find the next one that does work that doesn't irritate you or that doesn't seem to be addressing what's going on there's so much out there as well as just taking the time in and saying hello to the universe, hello God, whatever it is that you do, and allowing that energy of love to come in and thanking your angels, thanking the divine for bringing in the ideal or perfect frequencies of love, light, and sound. We are made of light and sound to move through our field around us as well as through our physical body. Okay, let's take a breath. That was a lot of information. Just turn to moving into our center, go to your heart. And just be with yourself for a moment. Good. Now I wanted to go to the next piece, which is how do you support your body in 5D? How, how do we go on building these new bodies? And as I said before on my YouTube channel, one illumined heart there are uh there's uh, several videos on diet for um, building a three a 5d body diet for an ascending um an ascending body um and foods that are ideal to use one of the things that we talk about a lot is the need for minerals because everything that we're connected to is held together with minerals and when we are releasing all this old material that many of you who are listening to this or maybe listening in the future uh, might be in the middle of what we've been doing the last couple of years and know that you are loved and supported in this, um, that as you release ancestral memory or past lives, all that information is held together with minerals. So as that's released, guess what? You have just lost some minerals. So it's very important to eat um, lots of plant-based foods, lots of greens, um, lots of like, you know, beets and sweet potatoes, root vegetables, nuts and seeds, things that are rich in minerals, fresh fruits that are colorful, you know, pay attention to what you're eating. Some people need to supplement what they're eating with more minerals and, um, and also building a silica body requires silica so I'm, I'm i pulled some things out of my refrigerator and went off of my shelf that i take every day so one of the things i take is horsetail not necessarily this brand i'm not attached to the brand you can get horsetail tea i would recommend two to three cups of that a day nice and strong or take um most people at this point if you haven't built that um 5d by crystal body yet if you haven't got those layers started or just barely getting it going then you're going to need more horsetail than we used to need two years ago when we started this. So you'll probably need like four capsules a day. And you can take them all at one time or you can take them twice a day, however you want to do that. Then the other thing that many of us have found is, especially in this the last few months, stages, the last six months, there's been a screaming need for silica. 
So I'm going to show you some products that I, again, I don't have any investment in this. I don't own stock. <laughs> it just is a great product. Um, so this, uh, the product is by the company called Organo and it's called Living Silica. So the blue one is mineral based living silica. And, um, I happen to need both. And there's also a plant based living silica. So I use both because I, my body needs both because I'm building, uh, so many layers, um, so when we started this in April of 2020, of course, we were at, we couldn't build uh, a crystal body until after the gate opened in uh, April of 2020 for 5D. When that, when that gate opened for that is when we could start building that uh, crystal body and, um, and using silica, extra silica, the horsetail is what most of us were using uh, to add to our diet. So that was super helpful in building as well as staying focused on making sure that you had lots of veggies and good enough protein. Uh, but the vegetables were like, oh, so super important. Um, okay, so those are two really great products. And if you are in a group of people, it's really ideal to buy it together. Because I think, I'm trying to think, I think the lowest price for this that I've seen is like $47. And this is uh 33.8 fluid like 1.05 quarts and this other one i think is 27 or 30 dollars it's 16.9 i think it was 20 no i think it was more like 25 the the plant-based one um but if you do it in a group and you can buy 12 of of them then the price goes down to like especially if it's your first time order and no shipping i think it's like 37 or 38 dollars a bottle so substantial savings um so those things will help to um feel you have your body you know with ease build um your your new silica based body your crystal based body and will reduce the exhaustion level because i know that when i stopped taking it for a while I was much more exhausted than I am now taking it again. Um, the other thing is that a lot of people are ta talking to me about is that they're, they're, they feel uh, lots of anxiety or they'll have extra nervousness sometimes. So I have found that this beautiful um, little thing called Nerve Tonic, and it is um, by Highlands, H-Y-L-A-N-D-S. It's homeopathic, you can't overdose. Kids love it because it's in, um, it just melts underneath your tongue. You wanna ideally take anything that's homeopathic 15 minutes away from food and drink uh, outside of water. Uh, clean clear is, is good and it's most absorbed. And then do not, when you take these pills, do not touch them because it changes the frequency. They're very delicate. What you do is you just pour, whoops, however many you are. I'm going to take four or five right now. And what I do is I just toss them in my mouth. Try and get them under my tongue. There we go. And it melts like almost instantly. But what this does, it helps to reduce the fraying of your nerves. And some people need a little bit of extra B12 or B complex. So pay attention to what's going on with your body. Um, okay, then the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to read to you something that was posted on Facebook this morning and it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, hold on a second here. I'm going to go to it. I need my glasses for this. And Judith Kusel, K-U-S-E-L, posted this. Hold on. Come on, here we go. So I'm going to show you the picture first before I read what she said. So hopefully you can see this. I'll get it, try to get it. So the picture is gorgeous. It's, it's a, the, a person. There we go. Let me see here. There we go. It's, there's a woman inside a crystal. With tons of crystals around her. And you see those beautiful turquoises and blues and fuchsia and violet and gold, the sweet orange and lavender. 
this is like the new crystal being we're moving into this frequency I'm hoping that as you look at this you can appreciate the frequency that this is holding but you can go to Facebook or go to Judith Kusel K-U-S-E-L I think she's got a dot com um, you can also follow her um, so she gave a beautiful message and I'm going to read it to you because I'm it was so profound and it is what we are all um, moving uh, into. She says, the pure ones, oh, I should preface this with this last week, she's been pretty much flat in bed getting downloads and I was that way the week before and the week before that. I was having three to five days of mostly on the couch, mostly in bed, mostly in meditation just trying to deal with the energy that was really heavy moving through, trying to prepare my body for this time. So this is, this is um, today, and she, I, she apparently felt better. So here we, here, this is her message. The pure ones, you will know who you are. Immense energetic activation of the Essenes, Cathar, and Templar codexes as held with each soul is being activated. These souls agreed to this during times of great persecution and thus these were stored in the soul memory banks so that as they have all been reborn now at this momentous time these could be activated again so that they could lead souls into the new existence the time has come. More will not be said. Who needs to know will know. I have spoken. And I thought that was so profound because I'm very clear that no matter what somebody believes, the reality of this shift is very huge. Um, often when I'm meditating, you know, I'll be in distress, things moving through and getting rid of. But along with that is this phenomenal sense of being loved and supported. And usually when I get near done with my meditation, there's this flood of love that is all around me and moves through me that brings me gentleness and peace. And just a knowing that, okay, I'm here, I'm being taken care of, and all is going to be well. Uh, I have to trust, we're, we're all having to trust. None of us have done this journey before, leaving a 3D life and a 3D body into a 5D body. And I want you to know that building this 5D body has been joyful, as well as painful, <laughs> sometimes horribly painful uh, uh, because it's like moving through this heavy energy of what we've like been hanging on to having to release through this um, old rigidity and stuckness that we've had and patterns that are just embedded in us from our ancestors and also memories from past lives just know that for me as each layer has left there's always this feeling of, oh my God, it's lighter. I feel better. I, there's more hope. And I become more inner directed. So I get, stay in touch with who it is that I am and what it is that I'm needing to do. So I'm just trying to think of anything else for today. I think that's it. It's a lot to ponder and a, a brand new slate. We do want to think about how do you want to live your life? What kind of a world do you want to live in? What kind of a world do you want to help co-create? Um, that, is, that is healthier, more loving, kinder, more compassionate with one another. And that can work together for the highest good of one another as well as the planet. So think about that and please if any of you have any questions or comments feel free to make comments if you have questions 
you can send any email to info at oneilluminedheart.com and I'll get back to you. Um, this is an exciting time and you are worth investing in. So I just wanted to tell you, I think that there was um, a video, I don't remember if it was in April of 2020 or May of 2020, something like that. It was called the before video. And uh, so I'm waiting to see in the next few weeks if we're ready to do the after video. So the before video was to let you know that I was a normal person like everybody else. Energy field the same, body's the same. But as we're moving into this greater light, all of us are emanating more light from our physical body. So when people talk about having the new light body, the new crystal body, it's going to start emanating more light. And who knows, it might be only for, like in the Bible, it says for those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. I don't know. Or it might be visible to everyone. Um, but I, my sense is that if it's not safe to share your light with someone who might not be a safe person or they may have violence still in them, um, <clears throat> then I'm sure your light would be, your, your, your own higher self and your angelic beings will protect you. But there's been lots of changes for me energetically um, and also, we start. I started with a zero level crystal body, and let me just go ask. I forgot to ask before I went on to see where my crystal body layers are. Because when we started, remember I said that it would probably take about four years, four and a half for some, of building this crystal body in 24 layers. Most of the time, it takes about two and a half months per layer. As you move into 5D, that time is shortened, and I'm not exactly sure why, but they've told me that it's shortened. But I will tell you that I started with zero in April of 2020, and I think it was around, if I recall, around the 25th of April that the gate opened. Um, and so let me just go ask my higher guides here what level I'm on. I know that I was 12 a while back. I have 12 layers, no, 13, no. I'm in my 14th layer, so I'm I'm going from 14 to 15 right now. So that's a lot of work in uh, two years and a couple of months. So know that it's possible and feasible for everybody, because this isn't just for some, it's for everyone who chooses more light and more love. Okay, I'm going to let you go, and thank you for uh, being with me, hanging in there. And tomorrow I will hopefully do this at 7, I mean at 6. I apologize for making it later tonight. Um, we had a bit of a debacle when I was cooking this afternoon and found out that my kitchen floor was wet and the entire underneath the sink was soaking wet and we had quite the mess uh, to, to clean up and uh, water to handle. So uh, life happens. Man makes plans. God laughs. I love that. That was a sign on the refrigerator at a spiritual center that I went to, and it is that way. All right. Namaste. God bless you all. Take care until tomorrow. Bye-bye.